What's going on YouTube? Chiosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a very important setting that you should definitely turn on on your device. And this is a privacy feature that was embedded in iOS. And it's actually pretty useful because absolutely everything is trying to track you nowadays from social media applications to news applications to even NBA for some bizarre reason. So Apple has introduced a very important feature that they have actually announced at the beginning of January, but they gave a little bit of time for these software developers to update their apps to be in compliance. So if you're running iOS 14.5.1 or 14.5 and so on like I do here, you should be able to have a feature called tracking here on privacy. Now this tracking option here is something new. The idea is that you can request applications to not track you, but you can also block them from asking altogether. So what really happened? Well, they explained very well here in this long essay that they actually wrote, but it boils down to the fact that many many, many applications, including social media and so on, were tracking your data across multiple platforms and websites and so on, basically snooping on you, creating a profile on you on what you do, what applications you install, what websites you browse and so on, and then of course using that profile to sell you ads. So naturally Apple wasn't exactly very happy with it, iOS is a little bit more privacy focused than Android, so they added this feature and now applications have to be compliant with that. Before they do their usual shenanigans for tracking you, they will have to ask you about it and you will have to give your consent. Now this is of course not a perfect method and many applications will probably try to evade this because they make a lot of money from the data they collect about you because ads and of course because advertisers. So of course this is not a perfect thing, this is not a perfect solution, however it's a less known feature that you have on your device and you should definitely definitely check it out. So how it works? Well, if you have an application that does this kind of blatant tracking, they will have to ask you about it now. Otherwise, if they're caught not asking, but still tracking, they can get their application taken down from the App Store. It's Apple's rules. So let's take, for example, this news application. You're going to see that it does try to track me. So once you open it, it tries to build a profile. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say international. You select a couple of, you know, interests and stuff like that. I'm going to leave the default ones, build my feed. The very second that you open an application like this is going to tell you about cookies and GDPR, which is in Europe, which is okay. It's nice that they comply. Let's say I accept all, but normally you should press show purposes and you should basically reject everything related to ads or unnecessary data collection. That would be good. But this is the star of the show. Nowadays, after Apple implemented this, they are obligated to pop up this when you first start the application. Allow the application to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. The identifier will be used to deliver a personalized experience to you. Now, don't get me wrong, they used to do this before. In fact, applications like Facebook and many others have in their terms and conditions a lot of things that they track you. And of course, if you read their privacy policy, you basically get scared. So they do collect a lot of stuff. But now iOS tries to put a little bit of a stop to it, or at least tries to make the user a little bit more in control of what is being tracked. So I can ask the application not to track me. So I'm gonna press ask not to track. And I can still use the application normally, but presumably if they comply, they should now stop tracking me across multiple websites, trying to see if aside from using this application, I use other apps or I use other websites and so on. So social media applications like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or Twitter and many non-social media apps like NBA or this news application or whatever, many others that do not have any social component, they tend to try to build a pretty strong profile on you so that they know what your preferences are and of course they know what ads to serve. Now in their defense many of these applications do have ad settings and ad opt-out settings and so on where of course you can opt out of getting personalized ads but that's not on by default. By default, that setting is off, which means that you get personalized ads based on the profile they create about you. So yeah, it's a neat little feature, but another important feature about this tracking thing is that you can turn it off altogether. If you toggle that off here in settings, privacy and tracking, the applications will no longer be able to even ask about it. And of course, it will be considered a lack of consent by default. So yeah, Apple does a good job explaining here a lot of the things, what they consider tracking, what is not considered tracking, because there are some 
some things that they do not consider as tracking and it's definitely not the best option available right now. The best option would be to completely be able to block any sort of tracking, but I doubt we're going to get that anytime soon. Now many applications like Instagram for example now tell you that if you enable the tracking at first you get more personalized ads that you may enjoy more and then you help keep Instagram completely free. I would definitely encourage you to definitely turn off the tracking here in settings if you have it on your iOS because at first you won't get bothered by any application with requests to allow tracking and so on and then of course it enhances the privacy of your device. So yeah, thank you for watching ings. Now till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.